Hey everyone, uh, what's up? Time for another five minute chess game. Very exciting stuff. I have won my last few games, so that's cool. C5 generally is a fine move in such positions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and take this. Like, how bad can it be, right? Develop my knight. Bishop e7, I guess. Let me think. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's a little passive. I guess d5. Or maybe just d6. What am I doing? I have like a, just a worse position. Ah, whatever, I suck. I don't know, like, I totally am very confused. So I'm, like, slightly worse here, because my my center is worse. I have no idea why I played the way I did, honestly. It makes no sense. Uh, so now we have to figure out how to, how to proceed, basically. I think b6, because if castle's knight b4, slightly annoying. I'll go knight b4 anyway. Uh, if he moves the bishop away, bishop a6, and I start to annoy him with my pieces a little bit. Uh, what do you do? That move? d5 is no good? d5? Uh, Alright, I'm going to go d5. Very weird. Uh, knight takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, queen takes. Uh, I guess I'll take with this one. It's a little more aggressive. Attacking his bishop. Hmm. Pawn takes is interesting. Bishop b3, bishop a6, and bishop b5. I don't know, something looks wrong with this position. a6, maybe. Bishop a4, bishop... Oh, bishop f5. I'm going to see with the pawn. Hyperaggression. I don't know why I'm calling it hyperaggression. <laughs> just making a capture. Uh, but I just figure out open lines is king still in the middle. When your opponent's king is in the middle, it's a good time to just open things up. Alright, man, let's do it. Okay, I guess rook check or something. Yeah, rook, rook check looks fine. So I'm better now, obviously. Uh, the question is how to proceed. I think I should just trade and go like queen f6. He has to take with a knight, because queen takes bishop a6, rook e2, looks horrible. And something like this, I'm threatening like, bishop f5 is coming. Just a really horrible position for him. The h4 that he played was not, was not uh, the best move ever. I'm going to crush this dude somehow, I hope. Because his king is weak. Alright, this looks like a good start. Queen f3, I have a good feeling. I don't know I don't know exactly what move, but... Queen g6, probably. Uh, I think I'll just do it on instinct. Or, he wants to go king to g2 is the thing. I mean, the other possibility is just take on d4. And, like, win a pawn. I don't know, maybe I should do that. Queen g6, king g2. I don't see, like, an easy way to just, like, destroy him. Well, bishop g4, yeah, I'll just take it. Play safety first. Alright, I'm up a pawn now. So, we're gonna try to just win an end game with an extra pawn, which is not so easy. Mmm, not so hard either. Let me think. Rook somewhere. <laughs> uh, Rook e2 doesn't seem so useful right now. I mean, you know what? It's a good time to get some space for my king. Why not? Why not take advantage of this opportunity? And now let's put this rook here. I think it'll be okay if he goes rook d1. I can take on... You know what? I'll put the rook here instead. And if rook... Oh crap, I have to stop following this game. Um, 
Alright, I played this crappy. I'm just up a pawn, but it's going to be very hard to win. I want to get h5 in. Damn it! Alright, I'm still better, much better. So, let's not get too upset. Uh, moves like rook f5 are annoying, that's the point. I think I'll just do it right away. Hmm. And h5, always a useful type of move. Somehow I have not much time left. I, I don't know where my time went. <laughs> uh, this happens to me a lot. I think I'm going to trade. Keep things simple because of the uh, time situation. And I'm going to move my start moving my king in. Alright, let's get my rook behind that pawn for, before my rook gets stuck on that square. Hmm, okay. King d4 I don't know about, so... Because I just go rook e6. Alright, whatever, he did it. It's almost mate, but not quite. Uh, I'll make another check. Or is that too... Alright, I'll do this. Hmm, e5 seems useful. I'll just take that. Now I'm gonna walk my king in. Alright, I should have good winning chances. The problem is, how do I proceed after rook e3? I have no idea. Well, he's in like almost zugzwang. Keyword almost. <laughs> uh. I don't know if this is any good. I'm going to just trade some things in the hope that I win his uh, g-pawn at some point. Obviously my technique this game was pretty crappy. Rookie 6 is annoying. Oh my god, my god. Alright, I'm going to do this. Um, suddenly I'm worse, right? right? I don't I don't know what to do, so... Maybe I'll lose this game. <laughs> like a total jerk. Alright. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose. This is like a nightmare. This is really embarrassing. Uh, I get B5, yeah. You can't be too lazy. Or I'll, I'll manage to draw, but I, I should be losing, like king c4. I, I think I have to do this, or else I'm just going to lose easily. And try to get my king back into the game. Uh, seems like my best desperate try. Shouldn't be enough. Should still be totally lost. King a4 even. Probably king takes pawn is winning too. Let's see, can I, I mean I'm cut off on the side, so... It's very hard to do anything here. It's just a well-known loss. This is a really embarrassing game. Really, really bad. Ah. Uh, My first game of every session is always horrible. I don't know why that is, but like, I just like, it always happens. Like, I never win my first game. I, and not only do I never win, it's always like, like the worst loss in history. I don't even care anymore. I'm just used to starting every Twitch session with a pathetic, pathetic loss. This has happened like the last five times, and then I get my groove, and I start to play better, but... I don't know what to say. This is a really embarrassing game. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.